my channel got accepted into the YouTube Partner Program in less than 24 hours. And in this video, I will be showing you how I applied step by step. I'd also be explaining the things you need to cross check on your channel before applying so as to avoid getting a rejection. Now, if you are ready, let's get into it. And welcome. My name is Tokwe Awomashi, and on this channel, I provide information and insights that would help you build a successful YouTube channel. Now, if you're new here and you want more content like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Now to the topic of today, we'll start by looking at the four requirements your channel needs to meet before you can start the application process. Now in the monetization tab of your YouTube studio, you will see this four requirements, okay? The first one says you must have at least 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel. The second requirement says you must have up to 4,000 watch hours. And the third one says you must have your two-step verification turned on. Finally, the fourth requirement says you must not have any active community guideline strike. An active community guideline strike lasts for 90 days and until it expires you cannot apply for the youtube partner program now if you have not met some or all of these requirements i have made videos that can help you achieve them as quickly as possible so check in the description area below for all the links now after you've met all these four requirements your blue button here will say apply now. But just before we get into the actual application, you need to understand the factors that determine if your channel will be accepted or rejected. When you apply, automated systems and human reviewers from YouTube will take a look at your channel to see if your channel is suitable for monetization. Now, the fact that you don't have an active community guideline strike does not mean your channel is in absolute right standing with YouTube. And one of the things reviewers do is they check your channel properly before they approve. Now, since they can't check every single video on your channel, they may focus on areas like your channel's overall theme, your most viewed videos, your newest videos, where your biggest proportion of watch time is coming from, your video metadata like your titles, your thumbnails, and description. They will check your about section probably, and even your comments. I've heard people get rejected for things in their comments section. Now, the most common reasons for rejection among creators are copyright violations and reuse of other people's content. Now, if copyrighted content or reused content accounts for a significant part of your 4,000 hours watch time, you are likely to get a rejection from the YouTube Partner Program because YouTube believes your eligibility was not based on your original effort. So it's your responsibility to check your channel and ensure your channel is in the right standing with YouTube before you apply. Also, before you apply, if you've already created your AdSense account, be sure that there are no issues on that account before linking it to your YouTube channel to avoid getting a rejection. Now, if you don't already have an AdSense account, don't worry because you can create one during your application process, which I will be showing you right away. All that said, now let me walk you through my application process step by step. Now in your YouTube studio, go to your monetization tab and here you would see if you are eligible to start the application process. Click on the blue button that says apply now and then we'll begin with step one. Step one says review partner program terms. Click on start and this opens up. The first thing you will see here is that these terms are specific to your home country. In my own case here, it's Nigeria and that's correct. But if you are not in the country that is shown here, you can click here to change your country. Also, if you're under 18, you need to ask a parent or a legal guardian to read and accept these terms on your behalf because you will get to certain steps in these terms that you still will not be able to complete if you don't have an adult with you. That said, carefully read the rest of these terms when I say carefully, I mean carefully. And when you're done, check this box to accept the terms. 
and click accept terms to continue. Now this is going to refresh to show you that step one is done. Now let's go to step two, which is to sign up for Google AdSense. Now click on this blue text here to start. Here you'll be redirected to AdSense to complete the step. And you're being asked here if you already have an existing AdSense account. If you do, select yes and follow the prompt after that to add your AdSense account to this channel. Now, if you don't have an AdSense account already, click on no and then continue. Now we are being redirected to AdSense. Log in through the email that is tied to your YouTube channel. And here we have the sign up form for Google AdSense. First thing you will see here is that your YouTube channel URL has been automatically placed on the form. You can't edit this area. So what you just need to do is continue with the rest of the form. Now here, which says get more out of AdSense is for you to just opt in for extra information if you want. I said yes, because I want to learn as much as I can from AdSense. Next, select your country or territory. Now your next step here would be to review and accept Google's AdSense online terms of service. So again, you need to read this very carefully before you proceed. Where you have any blue text like this, you can click to open up and learn more, then continue with the rest of the terms and conditions until you're satisfied and then you can check the box to accept and then create the account. Now check on this form to be sure that everything that is here is complete and correct. Now for your name, this has to match what is on your ID, which is your full name. So if your name showing here is abbreviated, you can change it to your full name. Also check your address to be sure that it's the full complete address because you don't want to get anything mixed up if Google AdSense wants to send anything to you, especially the pin to confirm your address. So please check this aspect and be sure you've done the right thing. And now at this point, you'll be redirected to YouTube to complete your application. Click this blue button that says redirect and you will be back in your YouTube studio. So this is going to refresh again to show you that step two is in progress because the AdSense account you just created needs to be approved. Now immediately step two is approved. Step three will automatically start, which is the review of your application. Now this is just to show you how quickly my approval came. Now here is the email I received when I created my AdSense account, which was 10.28 AM on the 18th of August. Now on the 19th of August right here, I received my approval email, which says, congratulations, you've been approved. And if you check the time here, this is 4 a.m. So like I said, it took less than 24 hours. So I hope this will be the same result for you. Now to the big question, what should you do if you apply, but your channel gets rejected from the YouTube Partner Program? Now YouTube does not give clear reasons for rejection. So it is up to you to troubleshoot if you get a rejection, you should thoroughly check your channel against the YouTube community guidelines. In fact, read in between the lines and edit or delete any video that violates YouTube's policies. Also check your comment section, check your about section and make the necessary changes. Now, when you're satisfied with the changes you've made, you can reapply after 30 days from the rejection date. And I hear there's no limit to how many times you can reapply so long as your channel does not get into any trouble before then. Hopefully you will not need to do this step at all. So let's continue. Now, if your application gets accepted, your next step would be to turn on monetization on your videos to start earning immediately because this does not happen automatically. So you want to check the video up here where I show step-by-step step how I turned on monetization on my videos and my personal preferences for the kinds of ads I want to show on my channel. Again, click on the card up here to watch it right away or find the link in the description area below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And until then, keep showing up and keep crushing it. Bye. Yeah.